little mind map here. I'm going to share the screen now. And some of the things we actually spoke about this morning. Um, this is, uh, and I'll send this to you guys, by the way. Uh, it'll be in the email with the recording today. Using specific words. It, we talked about that. What's the number one? What's my favorite word? Imagine. Imagine. The other one we could do is suppose. Mr. Prospect, Jimmy Jean, let's pretend for a second. I could, I could do that for you. Or could we meet in the middle? Let's pretend for a moment. That wouldn't change everything. You wouldn't be able to make that commitment now, would you? Boom. I have a suggestion for you. What if, let me share a story with you. How big, how important is storytelling when we're persuading people? How important? Very important. Very important. You know, you're very important. Very important. Ah. Hey, Jason Richter, let me, uh, Jason, uh, let me share a story. I had a friend, same thing, like same situation like you. He was in a one bedroom apartment with the 10 chihuahuas. You know, I couldn't let a session go away without chihuahuas. Uh, he had the 10 chihuahuas there. I can get, so, um, you know, and he, and he was just going crazy. He, oh, his blood pressure went up. Um, yeah, he got sick all the time. I want to, I don't want to see that happen to you. I want to get you into a nice house today. Um, maybe I shouldn't have told that story to you. Um, what, yeah, I think that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want that. I, that sounds. It sounds great to me. I don't. I wouldn't want to live in in those conditions. I don't blame. I don't blame you, sir. What would you like to see happen next? These are close. Like These are the words of persuasion, people. What would you like to see happen in the next thirty days, Mr. Bosans? If uh, let me ask you, Mr. Skolnick, if you found a magic lamp on the beach. And you could only make one wish, and you're not allowed to wish for more wishes. Okay, I know that. I know that stuff. Okay, what would that wish be when, it, as it applies to real estate in your future? In that, bar, that Barbara Eden would come out. <laughs> Barbara Eden. That's funny. I think Barbara Eden is about, like Claude Diamond. I think Barbara Eden is about eighty-two years old now, or something. <laughs> <laughs> she, she'll come out a little bit slower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I think that's 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 uh, you know, <laughs> Morris, Morris Cyrus, if you knew to a substantial certainty the consequence of your actions today, that you'd get, you'd sell your home, you'd get the money, you'd get the mortgage off your back, you'd get a contract and get $2,000 a month. If you knew to a substantial certainty we could do that today, how would you feel about that, sir? I'll feel. Wonderful. I'll be able to get that off my back and I'll be able to start using that, that money to help my family in a better way. Which means what, sir? Which means let's, let's get the paperwork signed and, and let's get this done. What? Let's get it done. Thank yes. You. Okay. Night. Good. So you got to use the right words here. This is my, um, what makes a great, uh, this is what I've been working on this. I think I've shown it to you guys before. But this is where I really try. I love mind maps. To me, I look at something like this, and I'm using MindNode, by the way. And I and I, I got this idea to do this because uh, the other day I was um, in the coffee shop after a long run, and MindNode is I have they have a wonderful application just for my iPhone. Uh, so I have it on my iPhone, my iPad, my laptop. All it's just the great mind maps are the best way to take an idea or to organize yourself or to get better in marketing in your routine. It's just some one of the best ways here. Let's share, how about some guts moves here? Anybody like, I like guts moves. What are some of my favorite, Chris, go ahead. What do you, go ahead, Chris. What do you, what's my favorite guts move that you're using? Hmm. You're not allowed to think about it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, yeah. Scott. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be the one. Mr. Mr. Scott, let me ask no, you. No, I, I, my one of my favorites that I'm using right now. Uh, would you like, uh, Mr. Mr. Diamond? Would you like for me to tell you the truth, or you want me to lie to you, sir? No, but the truth, of course. I, I, absolutely, sir. You're a gentleman. Hey, boom, and I'll just go into whatever their needs and greeds are, and why they need to move forward. Mr. Mr. Scott, can I can I speak to you as one man as an, to another? Can we can I be totally? Can we have an adult conversation? You came to me with a problem. You told me you wanted to learn real estate. 
you know, that you're tired of selling, uh, um, um, uh, you're tired of your Chihuahua dog, dog walking service every day. Aren't yes. you, uh, let me ask you something, sir. And you said you wanted to think about it and get back to me. And we've had this conversation. Aren't you sick of a life of mediocrity? Don't you just, don't you believe you deserve better? I do. I, I'm sick and tired of this. And I know that I can be somebody. This is, your, this is your moment, sir. You've got the winning lottery ticket. Do you want to put it in the shredder or do you want to cash it in? It's okay to say no to me, but this is it, sir. I, I want to cash that check. I want to cash it in. Which means? Let, let's do it. Let's well, do it. There you go. These are guts moves. Yes. I got to remember the lottery ticket. That's one of my favorite lines. You want that lottery? I, I've done the shredder next. If you guys have seen me, I've actually. Where's the, where's the, I've magical. made a decision. I've made a decision. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I have made a decision. Let's use that in the role play. That is a pure guts move. Go ahead. Go ahead, Felipe. Close me with, I have made a decision. You know what, Claude? I've made a decision. We're going to do business today. You know, we're. You're, those 10 chihuahuas, your mom basement, and you know that life of mediocrity, it's going to be over today. I have the winning lottery ticket. We're ready to go. Let's just move forward. Imagine for a moment, you know, it's, it's Christmas Eve and you hear the crackle of the fire, you know, the smell, the, the, you know, that, that, that fresh dinner. And then you have the kids playing, opening the opening the gifts. You know, you can hear the, uh, the 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 unwrapping of those gifts. How would you feel about that? Wow, when you put it like that, I mean, you really think this is going to work? I don't know. Maybe it should. Maybe it won't. But uh, but I've made a decision. You, we're going to do business together. Just say yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, you got you sold me, man. I mean. <laughs> let's just do you're right let's just do this that's an embedded command yeah he says that's guts too what right. was the last thing you said that was a guts that was also a guts move you know, what did you say that last part what was it it was great just say yes just say yes Who's the, that's Nancy Reagan's line <laughs> the other way no it's the other way just say no that's right Okay, that's the other, that's the evil Nancy Reagan. That's right. Just say no to drugs. That's right. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta be, uh, these are just some of the moves in this uh, thing here. Uh, let's do another one. Someone pick one. How about psychology? We got, we got about four minutes left here. We have to have an understanding of the skills. This is a science. That, necessary to convert people. Why, I ask myself one question every day. Why should someone buy from me today, make a commitment today? What are the psychological triggers that we talk about all the time? Reciprocity. Reciprocity, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? Social proof, needs and greeds. Right. Scarcity. Yeah. Emotional. Hi, 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 Nehemiah. Good for you. All those authority, likability, trust, conformity, all that reciprocity and conformity and scarcity are my favorite three psychological triggers. How about pattern interrupts? We, we've talked a lot about those. What are some good pattern? And what's your favorite pattern interrupt? You have a problem. What do you mean I have a problem? What? Who are you? You, 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 you? you don't still have that problem, do you, Mr. Don? You, you talking about my home here? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand that you tried to sell it a while back, and, and I, that's not still, you don't still have that, do you? Yeah, well, to tell you the truth, yeah, I do. I still. Oh, wow. Okay. Good pattern interrupt. Give me another pattern interrupt. You, you know, you, you seem like a smart man, but let me ask you a question. Why would you do such a dumbass thing? Well, gee, uh, wow, that's kind of rude. But you no, know, I, I apologize if that hurts you. I, you know, I don't want to make you feel, you know, bad. But it just seems that you know this seems to be something that you really want. You have your needs, and you know, your your children are right now living in a one bedroom, one bath, and you have one on the way. 
So I'm curious, what? Why aren't you? Why aren't you buying I'm, this? I'm, I'm still getting over the pattern interruptive. Why? Why would you do such a dumbass thing? I don't know if I should put that down or not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that one would sell you much. <laughs> well, you can always fix stuff, but I don't know, yeah. sir. Sir, you strike me as a really smart young man. I, I don't understand. Why would a guy with your background, your, your self-esteem, your education, why would you do such a dumbass thing? <laughs> I, don't right know if I, I don't know if I can make that work. <laughs> you are in. That, that's, that's a page from the, I that's, the, that's a page from Guts. You, yes. I know. It's like you like assaulting me. <laughs> it's like you assaulting me or complimenting me. I don't know which one to take. <laughs> See, you guys read my thing, my book too well. You read it way. You too can well. always, you can always fix it later. You know, you can always. It's like, sir, I, I might come off as very aggressive, <laughs> borderline abusive. But you know what? I'm very passionate about what I do, and I see that you have a problem. You're a smart guy. You deserve better. So I, 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 I apologize if I came up too aggressive on you, sir. There you go. You fixed it. Can, can we, can we, can we hit the reset button and I'll and and we'll start again. I, I'm sorry if I if I offended you, but I'm I'm very passionate about what I do. You mm -hmm. want to know why people call me and and people do business with me? Take a guess. You're a smart guy. Because you, you get results, right? Bingo. Oh, yeah. That's right, sir. Very smart. Very good of you. You get a cookie. So let's just <laughs> go ahead and. <laughs> How to, how to that's mess the it Don, up. That's the Don know. Rickle close. Yeah. <laughs> you get a cookie. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's go. Hey, Claude, Claude on the, uh, on the uh, dumbass, uh, dumbass uh, comment, be better off, excuse me for a moment, but better off I say this than your wife. <laughs> Okay, we've got we've got the sixty seconds left. Somebody give me a hypnotic suggestion. A hypnotic suggestion means you use the five senses. You make it emotional. You tell a story. You paint a picture in my mind. Thirty seconds. Someone tell me about what you're going to have for dinner tonight. <laughs> I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight, but I'm still thinking about that that bagel, that toasted bagel with uh, cheese and bacon that you're going to have later on. That Make sounds really good to me. So, okay, only if you're good. Make it, but talk about the cheese melting and it's a little cr uh, and the bacon crisp and you bite into it and oh, it's as satisfying and the crunch and, and the, yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just imagine, just imagine for a moment, you know, you're, 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 you and your family are sitting in a nice new home and, you know, it's dinner time. You know, it's actually 5 p.m. Supper's on the table. Your wife is making some fresh, fresh Italian meatballs. Mwah. And you just got the Great sauce. meatballs. Yo, oh, yeah, the big meatballs. And now, you know, the pasta noodles are perfect. She done threw it on the wall and now it's sticking and it's ready for dinner. And your family's sitting around the table, candlelight, and they're looking at you like, thank you. Thank you, Baba. I appreciate you. You are such a great man for making this decision. You know, how, how does that make you feel? Makes me hungry as hell, man. I'm coming to your house for dinner. Boom. There we go. We go. Good session. Give yourselves a round of applause here. Nice session. Everybody be safe. Be happy.